This is late 2020 MacBook Pro 13 inch equipped with the M1 Apple Silicon SOC. I bought it for myself in a goodwill. It will work well for my personal needs, but no, 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 no. On the internet now you can see tons of reviews from other YouTubers, blah, blah, blah. Everything is amazing. It's super fast. It's flying through timeline like a knife through a butter. But is this all true? No, and I will tell you in this video the real truth about M1 Apple Silicon computers. Hi, I'm Teresa from Morgonau.cloud and I provide personal individual support with Apple Mac, Windows or Linux computers. So if you would need any help, just join my website membership. Links you can find now in this video description. On internet you can see already now dozens of video reviews about how these M1 equipped Macs are amazing. But is that really true what they say in their videos? It's super cool because it has on the MacBook Air no fan. On the MacBook Pro it has one fan and in most reviews you will see I cannot hear it. It even does not spin. Uh, yes. How is this possible? There can be only two reasons. First, these people have really no idea how to fully utilize this hardware to its maximum or they are intentionally forget to say something very important. So that's why I am here to tell you the real truth about M1 equipped Macs. This is Apple MacBook Pro 13 inch equipped with the Apple M1 SoC silicon. 500 gig SSD, 16 gigs of memory. And I will show you, I can put this computer on its knees within a single minute. And I will show you, I can reach 100 degrees of Celsius on this computer in the same time. So let's have a look. I have here opened one of my latest videos, DaVinci Projects, which I made for my second YouTube channel. Nothing super heavy. Some 6K back Blackmagic RAW and some progress files from my Atomos Ninja 5s. And all notifications, so you won't miss as you can see, it's videos. not possible this to even play it on a half resolution. So now it's time to make a proxy media out of my source media. So let's have a look. Here I have my Ninja 5 ProRes 422HQ in 4K resolution. I will click on generate proxy media and now let's have a look what's gonna happen starting temperature as you can see now is currently 48 50 degrees of celsius fan is completely off let's give it a few seconds i said within a minute look temperatures are rising as you can see the cpu is maxed out and the GPU is almost maxed out at 97%. Okay, so we are starting to reach 87 degrees of Celsius. We are still on the beginning. 89. Ah, first 90. 93. What the hell is going on here? Fan started to spin. 95C, 96. 98, 99, so it was not even a minute, it was just a half minute. So at this moment, the fan is starting to spinning much more and more, and I will tell you immediately, it will end up at maximum 7200 RPM, but the temperature will stay absolutely the same. That's where this computer will throttle down its frequency to be able to stay some kind of under 100 degree, degrees of Celsius melting point of this MacBook Pro. So if you can see in those videos of those re other reviewers, they say it's silent. No, it's not silent anymore. We are now currently at 4791 RPM and it's really loud and we are still not at the maximum speed of the fan. So simply please don't trust to reviewers on YouTube unless you will do your own testing or listen to Morgonau. You know, I personally buy computers 
in a good will, it will last for me for really long time. You know, for example, look at this. This is my amazing 2004 PowerBook G4. And it's still perfectly working after 16 years. Do you think this MacBook Pro, which you will put within 30 seconds to a melting point 100 degrees of Celsius, will last you also the same 14 years? Darling, I believe no, that's not possible. So, because I really want a computer which will last me a long time, which I don't need to fear about that it will break, I don't know, after six months or maybe earlier. This computer is absolutely not for me. Simply, if you are planning to do only some light web browsing, watching videos, answering emails, okay, but then you don't need MacBook Pro. The MacBook Air would be perfectly fine for you. But if you are really serious about what you are doing, some video editing like I showed you, please forget about MacBook Pro 13 inch equipped with the M1 because it can break down due to high temperatures. By the way, if you would like to get the same application which I am using to monitor temperatures of my MacBook Pro M1, you can get it right now in this video description. I prepared for you direct link where you can download it. They even offer a 14 day or 15 day trial, so you don't need to worry about your money. So as you could see on your own eyes, all other reviews about the MacBook Pro 13 inch equipped with the M1 Apple SOC simply don't say the whole truth. This computer will melt down in 100 C Celsius temperature within just 30 seconds. Such a MacBook simply cannot last long time. That's quite obvious. If you would need any help with your Apple Mac, Windows or Linux computer, you can always get my personal individual support and video call and remote session directly to your computer in front of your eyes. Just join my website membership, links are in this video description. So I hope I made your day again a little bit better, if so, please click on the like button below. If you didn't like this video, click the dislike button two times. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell next to it, so you will get notifications about all new videos. So, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time, my friends.